Um, do you believe everything the president has said on these subjects? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> you know, he's, he, he's always under siege. You know, he's saying this one minute and that the next is what he does that matters. He's like every other person. You know, Bill Clinton lied about having sexual relationships with that woman. I voted against that article of impeachment because I think most people blindsided would lie to protect their family. I'm the one Republican that voted against that article of impeachment because I think the average person in that circumstance would be compelled to lie. Did Trump do some of this? I don't know, but if he did, I can at least understand. You know, I think it. you were famous at the time for saying I have a different definition of high crimes and misdemeanors or something. Yeah, similar. lying about sex wasn't enough then for me, and it's not enough now. Um, you parted with the president on this stuff, but uh, more on the Saudi Arabia situation yeah. that his response has been poor. You yeah. led an effort in the Senate to uh, say we've got to stop our support of the Saudis in this war in Yemen. Yeah. Tens of thousands have gotten killed. Um, the president has said he's still waiting to get more proof that the Saudi prince was behind the killing of uh, Jamal Khashoggi. You have no doubt. I don't know what happened with Stormy Daniels, but I know what happened with MBS. Those 15 people left Saudi Arabia did so under the command and direction of MBS, who had been focusing on Khashoggi as a critic for two years. He's renditioned people. He's taken people from other countries, Saudi citizens, brought them back to Saudi Arabia to abuse them. This is a pattern for him. He did it. He knew about it. Couldn't have happened without his knowledge. I'm not going to forgive it. Big deal. We need to come down hard because if we don't, we're opening up Pandora's box.